What's good? Yo, dude. Okay, so... Um... Yeah, so I think this is a good idea in general because especially yeah. as we're scaling uh, a place for all the stills and then that way our system mm -hmm. can be if there's X stills, this is the expectation if there's this much and we try to keep it up so then the more extra stills we are like, you know, you have the primary cooks and then secondary cooks and then tertiary cooks, yeah. you know? Um, yeah, the way so, I see it is uh, we can, like, there's a cool system we could do um, that complements the way that you wanted to lay out the, the, the cleaning. Yeah. And um, it should work hand in hand. And then um, it's more about having, like, the cook's uptime. Like, they just be how how much our farm is, like, not our farm, but the, oper the shine operation is cooking. Yes. Like, it's about the total uptime as opposed to one guy yes. trying to get as much done as possible. That the, way you the, can even the, take, like... There uh -huh, is okay. another thing here, though. Uh -huh. I am... I don't think we worry about uptime, and the reason I say that is can we get more out of the skills? Yes. But honestly, like, one full cook for us like yeah. i'm i'm sort of eating some of those costs right now yeah um yeah. and oh, oh, wait let me spin it a different way i wouldn't worry about uptime too much because there's a 30 cook limit um yeah. and the closer we get to that 30 cook limit you're adding another variable of tracking how many cooks so they don't blow up right yeah um, yeah and there's also like so i get what i'm what i'm what i'm getting at is i hold on one second oh perfect oh my god perfect amount just cleaned um where i'm going with this is i wouldn't worry too much about the uptime because uh -huh. that will add the risk of like tracking how many cooks there are and yeah um yeah. also we there's also the notion of like i'm, I'm look i'm gonna shoot straight right some of uh -huh. the the newer guys are not going to be as careful and so yeah. you don't want you know if they end up getting the stills mm -hmm, taken mm -hmm. by the pd that has an effect on the primary now i will say that maybe an alternative taking your idea uh -huh. is maybe we have the primary still set that that is like let's say seven or whatever that number is and oh um, i see what you're saying and like me and val uh, juggle those it's like the seniors it's like the seniors of the set it's like yes. you guys got like the yeah yeah that we, makes sense no i get that yeah that makes perfect sense because and i don't want to come across as like it is a little selfish but i don't want to end up having to wait like five days because one of our new cooks uh lost no 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 yeah i think yeah. i think what you're saying is perfect um i also like the way i've been framing it to kiko mm -hmm. and them i've been like like managing kiko's expectations saying yep. listen like you gotta understand like they won't like just have that trust off the board that you can take the pool that they are it's themselves even, cooking with yeah it's, that's a good it, way to put it and i think it's kiko wants to learn but there's like yeah. realistic expectations which is he's not gonna magically consume like two yeah. years of experience yeah you know what i mean uh, no uh, yeah yeah how yeah. the police move where are they looking where are the hot spots but i think uh in order to make kiko dream come true which i think we should always have uh -huh. in the back of our mind uh we get more skills and yes, that's the skills, yeah. that's the main solution um okay yeah that sounds good i think um yeah what we can do then is like if you think about it me you val kiko and gage we each get a still a week that's five in total like we can maybe get one extra Patar, and then, um, yeah um i got arrowhead um so i've got some extra ones but they're not hyper baked into the operation uh to the extent that um yeah. you know we need people very close to us that we need to pump up. And that's where oh, yeah. uh, Carolina, I think, comes into play. There's some others coming into play. And the nice thing about it being close is that, for example, I could imagine Val and Carolina knowing each other good enough that they could share stills among them yeah. too comfortably, right? 
Yeah. So in other words, the, like the cross pollination is between those that work with each yeah. other on a day to day basis anyways. Right. As opposed yeah. to, let's say I'm using an example, me and Carolina sharing stills because I fuck with Carolina, but I don't see her on a day to day. So there's more uh -huh. chance of miscommunication. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's cool. I also think like, um, like uh, the the whole idea of like if everyone can just get one at least one extra person that they um can get a yes. still from even if that person uh, like they say hey listen i will do uh a batch for you a week or something yeah. or pay you a premium for your still if you uh you know whatever whatever some kind of deal with them that they might not even want to be full cooks like save them the overhead and just be like if you give me a still a week, that qualifies you to run these bottles and you can fucking take yeah. that and make some cash. Yeah, you know what I, I'm saying? I agree. I totally agree with that. Yeah. So just one like partner, like runner buddy in a way that's mm -hmm. there who likes to do the runs and shit, but they're not scientists that want to cook and all of that, you know? Yep. Um, I agree. If we, uh, and I think once we have that, then we'll easily have like 10, 11 stills. Um, yeah uh, if everyone has got one runner with them if that uh, makes sense a thousand percent yeah and i mostly want to don't want to waste because it is kind of a headache to get people up as well right? yeah so yeah I exactly want to avoid any potential headache of um uh you know we train some <laughs> they leave, we train yeah. someone and they like fucking dip it right because yeah to them it's whatever right for them they're like yeah. oh it's not that but for us, it's like operational headache, you know? Yeah, it's like it's like back in the day, it's like Oxy, when people had Oxy runners, like eventually once the Oxy runner had enough money, they would just go and buy some shit, like some Coke, and they'll go into a different yes. industry. Yes. You want yeah. to kind of say, as long as you keep giving me a still, you're going to be getting some money that's better than if you were sitting and fucking doing yep. everything yourself. And Agreed. it takes barely any of your time. You know what I'm saying? And I think that would be, and if everyone can maintain one relationship with another person like yeah. that, we're good. Instead of like five people that we string along and then they disappear every time and you have to yeah. start again and again. Anyways. Cool. Um, yeah. Give me some time to um, like get everything in my house sorted for this and we can start getting a game plan together with your system for the cleaning. I think it will work perfectly. I think and, so too. Uh, yeah, and, and in the grand scheme of things, like, we're having our mud. The cleaning system that I'm using is kind of falling apart. So yeah. it's going to cost us about $300,000, I've estimated. Yeah, yeah, it should be two fifty. dollars So, but that's for... not that bad. How much do we have in the joint account right now? So in the farm fund, I'm not sure how much there's in the actual shine, but in the, in the, the end of this week, we should have like 100K in the farm's, like, fund. Really? Yeah, yeah, I like think 88K if or something. we all just chip in a little bit, let's just get it cooking. And the thing yeah. is, that opens up another door too, right, Lab? Like, you could start buying people's money. Yeah, yeah. I, I 100%, like, I said, like, hey, guys, you know, like, if we end up wanting to... I don't even think we'll need to get Kiko engaged to give us cash, but we could be like... Uh, everyone can chip in. We can even for like the first two weeks just yeah. we're gonna be bringing in so much revenue. Just pay that off. At least it'll be yeah. internal debt. You know. Yeah, agreed. And I already yeah. know how to. Actually, it's gonna be about three. Okay, so it's about uh, fuck. I think it's about like thirty-one or thirty-two hundred dollars per machine. You multiply yeah. that by a hundred. That's three hundred twenty thousand. Mm -hmm. And then you need okay. about you need about like thirty thousand dollars of cooling. Uh, I yep. I set up our cruise uh okay. thingy. Um oh they okay. fixed this. So thirty K in cooling, um then we need a hundred machines. Yep. Um we can even go like uh I really like, like that because this is scaling out a business separately. Like one thing I've yeah. also considered is my crew's always needing butt coin, people always need butt coin. I wouldn't even mind if this ends up successful we start pitching into a that op as well i think <laughs> I that's just, what we should do to be honest do you let's, know what I just let's did? diversify the company i just sold 
uh, my Bitcoin setup, I had eight full racks of GPUs. I just sold the whole thing to Chaos MC because, like, I just, uh, no one really wants to buy Bitcoin from me. So I was like, okay. Oh. Well, I'm just gonna... So I yeah. sold the. Yeah. It's, it's only enough. useful if you have a crew that is Actively turning that Bitcoin it. into profits. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there were some things we could have done with it, but I mean, it's too late now. Yeah. I mean, we can revisit that. I think the washing. I still have the computer. <laughs> yeah, the washing in and of itself already inherently makes sense. Yeah. Uh, just because if I'm hitting bottlenecks, uh -huh. uh, then, you know, I mean, like I said, we can start cleaning for others. And what's uh, cool is, yeah, and what's cool is like, if like for me, for instance, let's say Kiko's cut, he doesn't like, doesn't want to get the, the, he has the washed cash and he, he thinks he's going to struggle doing it or he doesn't trust it. He could like, you know, take that to one of your guys and be like, yo, I'll cut you in. Like, let's say yo, you have, yeah, yo, oh. can you get me still? I'm using <laughs> it. Oh shit. Okay. No worries. All right. I'll talk yeah. I think talk Arrowhead yeah, actually yeah. just bought a batch from me to cook. Wait, sorry, say again? Arrowhead just bought a batch from me to cook. Yeah, yeah, what, I just... Was he the guy... He's one, was he he the was, guy? He's one of the oh. people we're using as backup, but this <laughs> kind of speaks to it, right? Is yeah. why... Because uh, a lot of people... Look, I'm going to say it straight up, right? Uh, moonshine craze is up, so it's yeah. a good thing that we have... Um, most of our stills coming from outside sources, Into, you know what yeah. I mean? So yeah, and then, uh, also with the money washing, we might like, need to expand our employees. Um, in terms of the farming side, like the evening. main, yeah, the main bottle, like Gage and Kiko are around during the night. They are, they yeah, the ones I that are awake. We can't, we can't get them burnt out over. Oh no 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 no! Farming twelve hours a day, you know. No, yeah, like that. Like I'm around during these times. The only reason why is like they don't get as many orders at that time. Oh um, shit! Let's go, dude. Yeah. So the only thing is, is um, yeah. I think once, uh, yeah, the main bottleneck is just the farm size, to be honest. Um, but if we fully internal, then we should be fine. I think right now, because we yeah. like, there's a lot of external people trying to buy. Like, well, like Suarez we can wanted start ten. <laughs> Yeah. Um, for yeah. Instance, you know, like it's it's a lot, so yep. we can't handle. We are everyone. the bottleneck. I mean, listen, we run the entire fucking food industry right now. Yeah. Um, um but maybe that's that, something yeah. we need to look and consider, right? Um, yeah. We're still doing eighteen hundred, right? Uh, we're doing sixty. We've been doing sixteen hundred. Wait, uh, how did you label this key? I just uh, you know, I just wrote on the side of it. Wait, what? Oh my god, you can label them now? You could always label them. What? No, I'm just fucking with you. I think oh. uh, I think they got some new key tags or something. Oh my god, that is so good. Yeah. Oh my god, wait, why do I have... Oh yeah, 10, 10, 30. Wait, I have too much. Wait. Isn't that 30? Oh, we cooked extra carrot mash. Okay. So, so I think before we do anything, we yeah. should try get the last piece of the puzzle, which is this uh, the washing done, because yeah. that would mean our shine and our farm operation would be in full, well, full swing. Correct. And then, I think there's another yeah. aspect here. You ready for this? Okay. Is that look? Um, let's zoom out of the picture here for a second. We yeah. already run the food stalls, right? Mm -hmm. Um, we already are now the go-to for we are the most successful moonshine farm because we have the logistics you know um, yeah, that's covered now if people are already has it been founded if people are already um like hold on one second set GPS. if people are already relying on us for the product what if they also rely on us for the washing Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they could give us in rolls even and we just yeah. we just do like a fuck it dude like 10% who gives a shit Yeah that was the that was the plan but I like I said because I didn't have a washing thing I didn't want to impede on you guys but I was like very open nah, to nah, the nah, idea nah. that it's got to be it's got to be separated cuz the thing is like 
This is nothing yeah. other than the fact that, look, my, in my crew, right, we already have people that are like doing, you, how do I put this? Using gang resources for out of gang activity. Yeah. I don't like that. But yes, yeah, I can exactly. get away with it, but you're kind of fucking, it fucks people in the gang or on behalf of someone out of the gang so that yeah, someone yeah. in the gang can make an extra 10% of money. So, yeah. it, given that's that why this is a business, the business should have its own resource. Well, well, that's why I'm saying, like, that's why I'm saying, like, that's why I've been advocating for it for so long is, like, yeah. then we can easily be like, yo, just give us the, the rolls. It, it will cost us less to convert it than it would yeah. to uh, get it cleaned, you know? Um, and they might actually do that. Uh, I agree. So, yeah, full, full service. Yeah. Um, and with the employee thing, I think if anything, the way we could do it is because um, the housing market's pretty dry. When another commercial property or something opens up yeah. in the future, yeah, we, we could have a separate farm. Open. Yeah, you could crack it open and put a separate farm in there that can handle like new employees and external orders, and then this would just become like full internal, like though I have to you know have separate. To yeah, like yeah, you can scale it or think about it. Uh, what time is this? Um, 1.51. Okay, I got three minutes. Um, okay. Yeah, I mean, because I, I, I will be honest, is the ideal situation is if we had a bigger place to begin with, because, yeah. wait a minute, it, where you would have the farm and the fucking money shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would make place. sense. So I think... Let's get this going because we're going to have to buy the shit anyways. No reason to wait yeah. for a property. And I think we start redirecting funds so that we ultimately end up with a... Um, hold on, I'm going to get some gas real quick. Where we ultimately end up buying... Um, aim to get a million dollar property that's mega big. Yeah, that makes sense um okay cool uh yeah i'm gonna get and, on and it. maybe the way that part of how we do that is maybe i actually spend a day where i literally just me and val like let's say we get 10 stills which we are almost at we literally do like a 12 hour cook day yeah and, and i think the boys at the farm like if we know it's gonna affect like we can you know help let's, grow do everything have... I think we should have a meeting uh, mm -hmm. probably soon on this. Let's set it for tomorrow. Can you call Val? Let her know. Let's try to have a meeting tomorrow and let's talk about okay. the future of the business. Because I think all we right. have a really good plan in place and yeah. having a goal. Because listen, bro, like we all going to get, everyone's going to have their supercars. Um, yeah, yeah. Right? I think the cool shit is going to be, you know. I like industry changing shit, the way to put it, is like yeah, exactly. doing shit that, that leaves like a mark, like, you know, even things like that, are maybe not a good mark, like maybe if we had a stall and we were like, fuck all these other food businesses and we like, for like a week, just like drive the prices down, yeah. you know, like get like crazy shit going, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Okay. Um, I gotta do this okay, race, cool. so I'll talk to you. Good luck. Right, Cheers. Have a good one.